We're at the local fire station. And these guys, uh, I'm not sure how it is in all cities, but these guys have to mow this themselves on their Sundays when they're stationed here. So anyways, I drove by and told them I'd love to, uh, with everything they do for us, I'd love to help them out. But the other thing I wanted to show you too was kind of what it takes to film a lawn care video. So with the, uh, the head cam, we'll kind of show you what all has to be done to make one of these videos. So that's one thing you'll find is when you're mowing these types of videos, big squares are your friend and long, narrow sidewalks are the worst because you gotta move it every couple of feet. So see, I'm just, I'm just gonna get this whole strip up to this sidewalk up here in this in this shot but what you'll see is that as i get down towards here you're not going to be able to see me as well and it's not as entertaining so that's the thing with these long strips is you got to figure out how many sections you need to break it into what i should really do is i will and i'll do i'll do both ways so you can see the difference but this pipe needs to be where i split it up and then move the camera down again so i can get from the pipe to the sidewalk so i'll go just past the pipe so you can see how far away i'll be and how little you'll see, and then I'll go ahead and move it. So the mowing part is a bummer because it does take up a good chunk of time, but what you'll find is that the thing that takes up the most time is if you want a video of, of uh, well, at least what I consider a real good video of edging. That'll take up a ton of time. So you can, whoop, so you can see it's not hard to imagine one of these videos taking like 20 minutes of your time just in, just in the filming process. about as far away as I'll get for the sidewalk. And then we're going to do one long shot down this way to get the rest of it because frankly I don't feel like moving every 30 seconds. I'm pretty sick already of doing moving the camera around so I think what I'll do since the edging will look really good I'm gonna edge first and show you on that camera and then I'm just gonna string trim on this because it's not gonna be any exaggeration that if I were to film everything with that as well, because of the, the setup that we already talked about, it would be, uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised if I doubled my time on site because that's how long it takes to move everything. So we are going to try and get as much footage in one shot as possible. So I'll edge up, actually I'll edge back towards you, which will be backwards, but it'll give you the best shot, and then I'll do this, and then I'll edge, well I'll have to walk back over here. So see there's a lot of stuff to think about when you're doing these shots to figure out. You can't mow based on what makes sense, you have to mow 
on what gives you the best camera shot. I just told you, I just did it wrong. And uh, now I'm just gonna do what's easier for me, not what makes a better camera shot. You'll see the difference. can see what a pain it is on those kind of long narrow properties to film anything and uh, if this wasn't the end of the day and I felt like spending more time on it I would have moved the camera for each one of those little sections I weed eated because that usually looks pretty good tripod all right so then you can see you've got to figure out where your camera's pointing for the GoPro because I don't have a screen and if this is the video that focused mainly on uh, all the energy and time it takes to to film hope you got a good sense of what uh what it all takes and why sometimes if it looks like I'm doing something weird it's because you know, if I'm mowing a strange way or I'm not mowing the most efficiently, well, yeah, it's because I'm, I'm worried about what looks good for you guys. So lots of walking back and forth, lots of starting out one way and then realizing, wait, this doesn't look good. Let me go the other way, all that good stuff. But anything for you guys.